breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. You can see our northern leaders, elders coming up to say enough is enough. We will not allow this, not anymore. You know, our northern elder and leader says, you know, he said the southeasterners, they warned us against Tinubu presidency. But we use propaganda, label them with Biafra. You see, northern elders are the ones speaking now. They are very distraught. They can't even believe what is happening. They said enough is enough. That's why the Southeast is not saying a word. You know, you know, say, my papa would just say, when are they tell you so you know they hear what do? Waiting, picking, waiting, picking, they, they shout for. If papa tell you, say, your papa when he sit down for grand, they tell you, say, not go that direction, not go that way. You say, your father when he sit down for grand, even if you climb on top of the Iroko tree, you know, if you see waiting, they try to talk. So you, so you must pay attention. You must do the needful. For the fact, say, a quiet, you know, means I know they see what they happen. Who they cry, they see road. Do. Now, what did they happen with this? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Southeastern and warned us against Tinubu's presidency, but we use propaganda labeling them with Biafra. This is wrong. We cannot continue to allow this to happen. Not anymore. Ismail, Ismaili Yusuf emphasized the southeastern region earlier warning about the consequences of political missteps contrary to the propaganda labeling them as Biafra, the agenda. He said this is very wrong. He highlighted their under, understanding of Nigerian democracy and the dynamics and their rejection of both President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Tinubu in the past election. They knew exactly what they were saying. They were very, very aware. And whether we like it or not, the Igbos saw all this. That's why they rejected both Buhari and Tinubu. According to Yusuf, the apparent silence of the southeastern region amidst political shift is a deliberate response rooted in a deep understanding of Nigerians' social political dynamics. He has certain that why others may misconstrue this silence as, a, as, an, as um, a consequence for our action. In fact, a testament of the region, violence, and foresee what is going on. He said it is important that everybody understand what exactly is happening. He said he underscored that the Southeast history of rejecting candidates who we have seen destroy Nigeria in no small way, is a very clear manifestation of what is happening. The leadership, including the figure like President Bola Metinubu and Muhammad Buhari, are clear indication. Yusuf says the Southeast history has shown that they know these people very well. If only we have listened. Now the North is crying. He pointed to Tinubu's failure, attempt to secure support from the region despite political manipulation suggesting that such rejected rejection reflects the southeast comment, comments to responsible governance and collective well-being for our people but we rejected it we labeled them we labeled them as biafra furthermore yusuf urged the nation to head the, to yield to the southeast persuasion citing their grip on the nation, saying the Southeast have everything it takes to make this nation better. He emphasized the need to acknowledge the region as a region with sense and understand what's going on. We all must walk. Isiak Yusuf remark and says we owe the Southeast an apology. They saw this coming. No wonder they rejected Tinubu's presidency. And now they've all been unanimously silent and quiet this is terrible. We must apologize to the Southeast. If we want Nigeria to remain together, we must walk as one and ensure that we do everything we can to bring this nation in oneness and ensure that people begin to live their life. The Southeast understood the dynamics, saw what we did not see, the hardship that is faced by everyone. Not a single man from the Southeast has spoken into this. This is clear that we made a mistake. And we are here to correct it. Everyone must work together as one. The Southeast understood what they were doing. They knew 
It is, it is shameful that we label them as Biafrans. So this is what is happening right now. Uh, there is a lot going on and everybody is wondering what the next line of action will be. As we can see, it is important that every single person, you know, who knows what is happening. Okay, the Southeast have already said it that they, uh, they are not going to protest. They said it. They say we are not protesting. We are not protesting. We are not. We're going to stay back and we're going to do what's right. We're not protesting. And that, that alone, that word they've said has is, is been causing a lot of problem. That word that they are not protesting, you know, it, it's been causing a lot of problem. People are, you know, you know, all that is happening now, you know, uh, we just need to, you know, we just need to begin to stand together. We need to begin to work as one and ensure that we do not allow the same thing. There is a lot going on right now. Right now, Nigerians need to understand that we cannot, you know, we can't, we can't just sit there and assume that all is well. Everybody, you know, is going to is going to is going to help this nation, and we all we cannot be labeling people, you know, with different names. We must work together, okay? We must we must uh, we must work together, okay? So please, my people, one of the strong persuasion that the North have come to realize is that they made a mistake in labeling the Southeast Bia France as a, you know, as terrorists, you know, they were the ones who instigated Buhari, they bear them this, then they become, you know, then it gives the army a free course to begin to destroy the people. Now, they, they, you can watch videos again and again from the North saying, why is the South is not saying anything? Why is the South, South not saying anything? It is because they have told themselves that come 2027, they will vote like no other, and they will vote for Tinubu, that the people should get ready. You know, when they say the, the fire is hot, they say it's just, it's just it, will get, it will get worse. You know, the Ghanaians will tell you it will get worse. It's just getting worse. So it's just a tip of the iceberg with what you can currently see at the moment. So my people, if there is any time for us to own up to responsibility and begin to rise up and say enough is enough, a word is enough for the wise. It is now more than ever before. Leave us a comment. Please, don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Bye-bye.